Well, uh, Bangladesh is in a key location in South Asia, and uh, and it has of course a lot of problems on urbanization, connectivity, and uh, and the bank thinks that it's very important to help these countries on this to unlock these bottlenecks that they have. In this case, in particular, this bridge it's in Mymensingh, it's a Kewat Kali bridge, and uh, and it will help. Uh, unlock this, this, uh, or improve the connectivity of the country, uh, because it's one of the corridors that goes from Bangladesh to India. So it's very important for all the connectivity within South Asia and between South Asia and Southeast Asia. Um, I think that it's, it's, this project is going to benefit a lot of people. Uh, we calculate around 11 million people that are going to be directly um, benefited by, by the project. But of course, we know that there are a lot of concerns. One of the purposes of this social impact assessment, environmental impact assessment, is to identify you know, what kind of immediate impacts we are making in the field. For instance, access restriction. You know, when the construction will take place, people will not be able to move around. So what are the alternative measures? I mean, those are what is uh, contained in the environmental and social management plan. Uh, we are impacting households, you know, residential households. Uh, there are a lot of biodiversity issues, such as, you know, small ponds, which is such a uh, peculiar feature of rural Bangladesh. Now, we have looked into each of these, and we have found out mitigation measures to address uh, each of these issues in the field. The other thing which I would like to point out, which, uh, uh, you know, both Natalia and I and our uh, entire team was very conscious about, was the issue of safety, operational, uh, occupational health and safety. And then uh, we have taken special care to see to it that uh, people who are working do use uh, appropriate PPEs, which is uh, personal protection equipment, and the proper procedures, proper traffic management when the roads are getting constructed, which leads to the bridge, so on and so forth. It's really uh, important for us to make them know that we are not going to be out of there. Of course, there is a challenge that is COVID-19. We cannot travel right now there, but we are hiring local consultants to help us, be our eyes, there and not to leave the client alone. And in case of Bangladesh, the interesting thing is that that as a matter of government practice rule, they hire a local NGO to implement the resettlement plan. And the role of the NGO is actually to first to go and revalidate the data, impact data which we had collected during the social impact assessment. They travel door to door to identify people. There may be 10 people more or 10 people less at the time of revalidation, but then they will identify those people. They will give them a kind of a identification card that they are eligible for uh, uh, compensation. And then liaise between the department, the district government, and the impacted person so that the compensation actually reaches the person. 